Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Well, some stunning new evidence has come to us that NASA has basically been caught red-handed altering some of these supposedly new images that they've been getting from Pluto, which, if you remember, we just reached in 2015, that were found to have been originally created, or at least captured, three years prior to the date that NASA said that they received them. And the man who has uncovered this and posted a video on it that we're going to show you in just a second comes from the YouTube channel The Olympus Sky. And we will put the link to his video down in the video description. So basically what he found out looking at the image data that comes with an image that tells you when it was created, when it was, say, edited, where it was taken, what type of camera it was taken with, and what type of software was used, if there was any editing done. And he was looking at this supposedly new image of Pluto that was captured in 2015 and found out that basically the photo wasn't captured in 2015. It was captured three years prior in 2012, which should definitely raise some eyebrows here because NASA supposedly just reached Pluto last year. And these were some of the first images that were being sent back. So A, NASA is completely lying about when they reached Pluto and that they've really been there for three years, or B, we have never been to Pluto, and these images are complete fakes. Now, I am more inclined to believe that we have been to Pluto, but it seems that NASA will have some explaining to do, because the evidence here suggests that these images were taken in 2012, three years before the orbiters we sent up there finally reached the dwarf planet. And the Olympus Sky channel has found some other very interesting things in the data behind these images. And we're talking about photoshopping, we're talking about editing, and we're talking about some very strange things where it not only looks as if NASA has lied about when we got to Pluto, but it also looks like they spent a pretty large period of time editing this particular photograph. So I will play you a clip from his video, and afterwards we will sum up everything that you're about to hear. And I will give you my final opinion about this, but uh, it's just uh, NASA's been busted, I'm telling you. So here's the video, and by the way, you may need to turn your volume up just so you can clearly hear and understand uh, what the man is saying. He does have a bit of an accent, so again, I will sum everything up after the video, so definitely watch it, and I'll talk to you in just a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, to the Olympus Sky for another fresh and exciting video. And uh, this one particularly exciting because I'm 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 having a near stroke here. It's it's it's, it's impossible. It's crazy. I I don't understand. Um, it's this image is three years old. And what is this image? Okay, cool. You don't know what I'm talking about. Let's go over this really quickly. Uh, July 17 posted here, and um, you know uh, we all know that Horizon just arrived at Pluto not too long ago, and it's all big hype and all crazy this and that. And uh, yeah, I've checked it out here and there, but. Uh, yeah, what I found here is pretty crazy, but let's go over this. Let's check it out. It is recent um, by the lorry um, July on July 14 here distance 77,000 kilometers 48,000 miles and um, the blocky appearance of this feature is due to compression of the image. Yeah, I agree and it's mad. It's so mad. It's it's basically useless. Uh, we will talk about the next video. I really have to get some stuff off my chest as well. Um, it's it's you guys need to know the truth, you know, I'm, I'm so tired of it But uh, let, let's get into this. So please do watch the second video. Please share this one People have to know this. We have to think about this question about this. So, okay, I've checked out I've the, 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 the Taken out the information out of this image. I went over it um, This is called XMP data. I'll, I'll explain you shortly in a moment what that exactly is um here we have the first block so we got here we this is the history this is uh, everything that has been done to this image you can see right here okay when we look at this you got the stevt when is we got a date here and we got a time with standing a t in between here that stands for time you can see that it says created here it shows uh that adobe photoshop cs5 was used on the mac which for 2012 wouldn't be that crazy i think cs6 came out that year somewhere 
uh, which is which is good which is uh, which really is an indication that there's something going on there so okay we got a timestamp here then it was it was created then it was saved and it's pretty hard to, to show this to you guys please forgive me for any mistakes um, again you can see by the timestamp here this guy was messing around with this image for 15 minutes now I think that 15 minutes is quite a long time for this kind of image though um, it's it's pretty normal when you see this like the way the, uh, where the image was um, you know created doesn't mean it's hoaxed faked or created out of thin air it just means that 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 project has started and so NASA does not use JPEG, TIFF files, BMPs, send them over space. They have their own file formats, their own ways of transmitting an image, um, you know, the most efficiently. That's a huge distance between uh, between Pluto and the Earth. And I'm quite surprised at some of the uh, images, the quality of them. And then you look at curios Curiosity, you're just blatantly disappointed. But that's another topic. So, okay. 2012 created. Okay, NASA, okay something is definitely not right there uh, i got the numbers everything here we'll check out because new horizon couldn't be there with the speeds that they've given us you name it so i went even that far to calculate the average speed of the thing where it should be so so it's it's man <laughs> this really throws me off here so someone then in 2015 like a day before release of that article picked it up he picked it up and um you know, saved, converted it. Converted, as you can see, what, what, we, what we are reading here is the uh, vnd.adobe.photoshop. This means that it was a Photoshop file, and then the Photoshop, the PSD file, was converted to. Uh, got one here, as you can see, this is a PSD file. Um, so, the interesting part here is that it then was converted to a jpeg okay i can understand that and we'll get tomorrow or when that video yeah probably yeah, i must do this video tomorrow that's really some stuff i have to get off my chest so okay um converted derived okay now we got a jpeg saved you name it now the problem is there's between these two blocks here um you can see that there's a massive massive five hour difference here you cannot tell me that this image took you five hours to work with seriously man if you've converted it and you've you've created this kind of compression what were you doing in those five hours it was converted once in this conversion it should like let me show you here and uh, this is actually crazy we'll get into that tomorrow this, this is pretty crazy um jpeg compression six so 12 is max and it has been saved at 50 percent quality yet this is kind of crazier than 50 percent quality um this it can't be registered registered here twice like if he saved it twice uh, like downgraded it or did it three times i don't know but my question is here is what were you doing in those five hours but after the conversion of the image and what's created here apparently it uh it, yeah it's i think this guy saved a psd file that's what that that that's what we're seeing at sorry you know it's like i said a really tough video and uh, there's so much things going on. i'm trying to break my mind over this but i'm quite positive this guy here created a psd file then converted it to a jpeg but you name it what was this guy doing five hours long how is it possible that this image was created or this this project in 2012 how is that possible this image was just released it's new they said it themselves they gave us the distances here it, it, it this is the distance from uh, where the image was taken okay <clears throat> let's let's go to the next step maybe you're still not convinced i don't know how you can't be convinced it's all official you all get the links down in the description and um here again just just quick before we get into um the other stuff here and just just try and calculate this is the photo forensic i like i mean i don't know if i said it already in this video but it's it's a great thing to start not really a fan of it but uh, you know got my own things but it's it's a great thing to get into um this one is a bit less complex than the one i've shown you here uh you can see the create date was on 2012 so we got a separate different entity thing uh, website here confirming the same thing we've just seen in my little plugin so it's it's actually in that image um, that's another thing, a theory what I was thinking about. Could there just be possibly a computer at NASA with having the wrong date in the computer? In 2012, there are no more computers that have a battery in the, in the computer. 
He had a Macintosh, he used uh, Adobe uh, CC2014 and CS5. That was not a basic computer. That was not a cheap computer you get for $50 that computer does not have an internal battery so it it can't reset the time so okay let's say something happened and the time got reset oh, i dare you yourself to set your time back either in the bios or in windows not sure if that's still possible in windows uh, it wasn't in in the past but i don't know probably is try and change your date try and even access youtube youtube won't allow you with the correct date all your software will get messed up everything you cannot have a false date on a nasa computer this so that's that's out of the window we got an image here from 2012 but they said they just made it they ju we just arrived on pluto you know my problem here i'm sorry you know what it is just mad you know mad so as you just heard in some phenomenal analysis by the olympus sky channel nasa not only has been caught lying about when they captured this footage of pluto about when they took this picture of Pluto, but it also proves that the photo was then picked up three years later from when it was created, and this was just a day before they posted it on the website. And someone sat down and was editing this image for five long hours. Five hours. Now what would take, besides simply converting the image to a JPEG, what could take five hours? unless you were sincerely doing your best to cover up something in these images. Now, my whole opinion on this is that we likely reached Pluto years ago. And the same goes with other planets that we've recently gotten to. I mean, NASA, I believe that NASA and the government are on a 10 to 20 year delay when it comes to technology, space discoveries. So anything they... T they come out and tell us has recently happened has likely happened within the last 10 or 20 years and they're just now revealing it to us and the only reason that i can think that nasa would lie to us about the fact that they reached pluto three years earlier is because they wanted to do some reconnaissance there and they found something and they've needed these three years to map the planet to look at it and to finally cover images up before releasing them to the public so again, some amazing work by the Olympus Sky channel. Be sure to go over there and subscribe. He's got some other great videos. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Because the data here does not lie. And you guys can all check this out for yourselves. But this image is not from 2015. It's from three years earlier. And we also have proof that it was edited for five hours in Photoshop. And again, at the very end, when they do actually publish it on the website, and we will post the link to the article and to the original image where they gave the press release with this new image, I mean, the image is completely blurry, low resolution, and it seems like they, they've completely whitewashed this image and what was within the image. So, I think they've been busted here, and it definitely opens up a whole new can of worms regarding all of their past images and the future photos that they do publish so i have big plans to be working with channels like the olympus sky to uncover new evidence like this so again let me know what you guys think thanks for stopping and watching big thanks to the olympus sky and uh tell me what you guys think all right so thanks for watching stay safe and we'll see you back soon